Okay, so this is a practice uh, that I developed called Zen Noting. It's very much an inspiration, uh, a, a mix of Kenneth Folk's There Is Noting and um, the Big Mind meditation practice that I learned from Diane Musho Hamilton, especially, but also her teacher, Kempo Roshi. And um, this practice, the way I describe the purpose of it is that we're going to become one with what we want to notice as. And I assume since you're here, you want to notice things as peace, that you're down for becoming one with peace. And, you know, it's not like a terrible thing to become one with. So, um, so I think we're going to have a good time. Um, and then the, when we become one with it, uh, which is a very simple move, we're just going to say as peace. That's the becoming one part. That's the Zen part of the Zen noting, as peace. And here we're just doing it. We're just making this kind of backward intuitive uh, move where we just see what happens when we say as peace. And then we say there is, and then a word or two to describe what it is we notice as peace in our sensory experience, in our actual subjective experience. As peace, there is relaxing. As peace, there's letting go. As peace, there is not knowing. Like so. Um, we'll do this practice in small groups, so we'll be taking turns in the first phase of the practice saying, as peace there is, and then a, again a word or two on what you notice. In the second phase of the practice, we'll come back together as a whole group, and we'll, uh, for whatever time we have remaining, we'll practice um, some spontaneous freestyle noting. So we'll let go of the as peace there is part, and we'll just use a word or two as you feel moved to describe what you're experiencing. So first phase, we'll be doing Zen noting as peace for quite a while, probably uh, 10 to 15 minutes. We'll see how it goes. And then the second phase, we'll come back for a little bit, and we'll just uh, do some spontaneous freestyle noting. So the, hopefully the peace will carry through into that part of the practice. Um, I did want to just share this, um, this quote that I dug up today in my, uh, my Evernote. Um, it's, a, it's from a um, poem called Buddha in Glory by the uh, Bohemian Austrian poet and novelist Rainer Maria Rilke. And the background of this, I, I looked that up a little bit too to see like, where did this poem come from? How did he write, come to write this? And um, from what I could tell, he was a secretary for the French sculpt sculptor, Auguste uh, Rodin. And he um, was sort of meditating on one of Rodin's sculptures, which was a sculpture of the Buddha. And so it was his kind of meditation on and contemplation of this sculpture that gave ro rise to this poem. And I wanted to share this one piece that I think relates to the practice today, Zen noting as peace. Where he says, illuminated in your infinite peace, a billion stars go spinning through the night, blazing high above your head. But in you is the presence that will be when all the stars are dead. So a beautiful description of the presence, the countenance of the Buddha uh, in that, in that um, sculptor of Rodin's. And uh, a description, I think, too, of uh, the kind of peace that um, passeth beyond understanding. So...